Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how to become a millionaire using leverage ETFs. Not only am I going to show you how to become a millionaire, by the time you're done with this video, you're going to see how you can turn your investments possibly, and this is the utmost i'm talking the maximum amount of risk you can take and it could easily go to zero but if it pans out what could happen if we did this over the last we'll say 10 20 years i'm going to show you a lot of data but using the triple leverage ets and we're talking the tqqq we're talking taking the s p 500 and using a triple leverage there what could happen to our investments if it plays out like it has over the last decade or two. Man, this is going to be a video that blows your mind. You want to see how to quickly, possibly, become a millionaire using leveraged ETS? Well, look no further because this video is here. Now, before we get into it, take advantage of the Moo Moo link down below. Get yourself up to 15 free stocks. All you got to do is put 100 bucks in. You get five free stocks worth up to two grand a piece, 1,000. 15 free stocks worth up to two grand a piece, plus the free premium courses. The link's in the description. You got to use it. And of course, take a look at the Weeble link as well. Up to 12 free stocks with any deposit, a dollar or more. You got to use the link down below to take advantage of that as well. And of course, come on over to the Patreon, see what we got, because we're always discussing how can we get to that level of financial freedom. Now, that link is down there. You see my portfolios, my buys and sells in the private Discord and the private videos. Now we get into how to become a millionaire with leverage ETFs. There's going to be a lot of people out there watching this video right now. And the majority of you take it as a lesson. And I am going to go over the risk. There are risks. There is decay. There's a lot of things about leverage ETFs out there that you need to know. But today we're going to look at what if happened uh, if we went back in time and take a look at the gains from say 2010 up we'll look at 2000 up we'll take a look at it, a lot of different things but first things first we need to know the average salary of the people as i do this experiment for you and show you how to become a millionaire with leverage ets first things first the median wage for full-time job in the united states is currently fifty-three thousand. $490. That's what we're looking at. $53,000 is your average, which we'll make it, uh, yeah, we'll keep it at 53. That extra $490 would be big. And the other factor into this, before we get into all the calculations and the millions, and listen, folks, we're talking tens of millions and possibly, possibly billion dollars worth of gains. And this, I know you don't believe it, but I'm going to show you the numbers. I'm going to show you if you did this all the way through the years, the exact number you would have. And I'll tell you what, man, even I was blown away when I did this research. But when it comes to how to become a millionaire by investing, this one just it takes the cake. All right. The standard reports. We What else do we need to know? We need to know the average gain. All right. So this is the average gain of the S&P 500. You'll hear people say all kinds of things too. And first things first, right now it's 10.15% since 1957 and they have 500 stocks in there. That's the one I'm gonna use, 10.15% because I'll tell people, hey, we're gonna invest in the S&P 500 and we're gonna get an average of 10%. You should see how many people, oh my God, the trolls come out. It's like we're watching uh, Lord of the Rings and they're coming out from underneath the bridge. Man, they're all over the place. And I gotta tell you this, the 10.15% is based on the actual data of the S&P 500 over the last, uh, well, since 1957, and they had 500 companies making that up. So that's the data. You can't argue with that. Now, you'll hear people say, well, we are only going to expect 6% over the next five years. Well, maybe, but eventually you're going to get that other part, what takes the average up to what it is right now, 10.15. And I heard this all the way through the last three decades. And yet here we are still averaging it. And so for all those haters out there, sit back and enjoy this video. You're going to love this. Uh, NASDAQ. What about the NASDAQ? Because I'm going to go over Q, the Qs. We're going to talk about triple leverage TQQ uh, Q, and discuss how much money can be made there. First things first, we need to know what is the average gain with the, the Qs, Mo? What's going on with the Qs? This one, I didn't realize it was so high, but here you go. Since inception, you can see uh, wow, a lot of money. The average annual return between 15 and 17 percent. The NASDAQ 100 index, and you can see what it is. Wow, wowzers, wowzers. Uh, NDX, the NASDAQ 100, and I, it just blows your mind. 
If you did this in 85, you put 100 bucks in, you'd have 15,000. So we're gonna say 16% for this one. Wow, so you can see now, are the gains for the NASDAQ 100 over? Or can we expect to have the same thing? Well, you're gonna hear the same argument. Oh, those are the gains of the past. We won't get these in the future. And they're not wrong in saying they're the gains of the past. We don't know what the future is gonna give us. The past results do not guarantee future gains. And that's something we all have to remember. But uh, when you come to look at this stuff, now we get into it. So what did we say the average, and this is it, what did we say the average gain of the, uh, or I should say salary was? 53,490, 53,490. So we come up here and just say you're 53, or I should say the median uh, wages was 53,490. And when we're talking about how to become a millionaire and how to get rich, how to do this, and I'm gonna argue, get, slow, uh, get rich slow with Mo, because that's the way it should be. A lot of people trying to get rich overnight, and, are, and that, every time I hear that, uh, I just shake my head because truthfully, it's gonna take time to build those assets, to build your investments. Now, one thing you can do, and it depends about uh, your, your level of risk, is you can, you can start to use some of these ETFs that have a little bit of leverage to them. Now, understand, if you have a bad day in the market, you could lose it all. And that's some risk I don't think, I'd say the majority of people in the world should not be taking. All right, percent to contribute, 10%. All right, we're gonna put in 10%, 53,490. You put in 10% of your salary all year. Uh, salary increase per year, I always say 3%. How old are you? It doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you how many years it takes. So if we put in that you're uh, 25 years old, and you're gonna work until you're 67, the normal retirement, no money in the return. And then we come down here and check this out, because I'm gonna show you a lot of different things today to show you how to get to a billion dollars. You wanna create generational wealth, I'm gonna show you. Now, the first thing we said was 10.19%, I believe was the average gain of the S&P, 1.5. Well, that's gonna, gotta fix that up here, make that a five, hit enter right here. Now, and I know what you're gonna say, you can see it, 10% of your salary, putting it in equals in 42 years, $4.3 million right here. That's with no money put in from your employers, nothing else. That's just a 10%. But Mo, hold on. This is not with leverage, my friends. This is not the leveraging. And that changes the game. This is how you become a millionaire with just a straight index fund. $4.3 million. Now, how many years before you're a millionaire? Well, as you go, you can see right here at 52. So you started at 20, 25, you went to 52. So no matter what age you are, if you are making $53,490, you get a 3% raise, we get the 10.15% gains. It'll take you 27 years to have a million dollars invest in investments just to tell you up front, all right? So if you're 40, you'll be 67. If you're 30, you'll be 57. If you're 20, you'll be 47. That's with a straight index fund, no leveraging. Straight money going in 10%, 3% raise, starting at zero, 27 years, all right? Uh, how many years does it take to get to 2 million though? That's the key, it starts to get quicker. It took 27 for that first one. Uh, for the next one, it takes you well, you'll be 12 years later, you make another million. Wow, all right, but now that's not what you guys came to see. You guys didn't come to see that. Now I'm gonna show you how much money you can make when we do, oh boy, the, the leveraging, and I love this. Uh, $5,349 at the end of the year, we're gonna do interest rate of 30%. Are you kidding me? Yes, it's the risk you take. Doesn't guarantee it because if you're making 30% one year, you can lose 30, 60, 80, 90% the next, which I'm gonna show you examples of. Now, this is annually, after 30 years, tax rate and an inflation rate. We're gonna show you an inflation rate with this one. And because everybody always tells me, well, if I'm putting $5,300 in a year, yeah, there's inflation, it's not the same amount. Well, just watch this number. I calculate it. Look how much money you have after 30 years, no matter what your age is. End result, $46 million. After inflation and adjustment, you're gonna have 19 million in today's dollars in 30 years. This is crazy. How long does it take you to become a millionaire? I got your chart for you, folks. 
you start with zero dollars, all right? And after the end of the year, you put in one payment, 5,300. So if you put in 5,300 today, you're knocking that column off. Uh, and then you come down, the interest you make, and you, if, if it works out the way it should with the 30% gain, this is how it goes. So when would you become a millionaire by putting in that $5,000? And as you come down here, wait till you see it, right here it is. Year 16 is when you would have a million dollars. So no matter what your age is, according to the data, if a triple leverage ETF worked out exactly the way it was supposed to, you would have this amount of money. Now, this is where it gets, it's just wild because you're getting, you're getting interest off your money, your principal, your interest, interest off the interest. Like Warren Buffett says, the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. And he shows you right here because how long does it take to get up to the next million dollars at that point? Look, it took you 16 years to get to 1 million. To get to 2 million, basically it takes you, uh, we'll say one, two, two more years, a little over two years. How much does it take you to get to three? Two years, then one year, then under a year. So by year 22, you're making over a million dollars a year in interest. And then all of a sudden it becomes 2 million, then 3 million. And you can see how this goes. Then nine, 11, almost $11 million by year 29 to 30. Folks, this is crazy. And I know what you're saying, thinking, Mo, there's no way that can happen. There's no way you can make that kind of money. This is why the rich stay rich. This is why they continue to dominate uh, with their wealth. Their wealth doesn't dissipate and go away. You don't hear about all these super wealthy people that no longer have money. Now, you might hear about their great grandkids that were left out of the will and they never had the money to start with. But the vast majority of that wealth continues to grow generation after generation as long as it's not abused. Now, let's get out there and take a look at some data because I know what everybody's thinking. I know the haters are hating right now. Oh, I can sense your anger. Ooh, thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the triple leverage Qs. This is TQQQ. You can take a look since uh, as back far as February 12th, all right, 2010. How much money have we made? 6,279%. And that's from February 12th, 2010 up. So if we go to the Qs, we'd expect to make what? One third of that? But no, it's compounding. And so if we go to the Qs to February 12th, 2010, we'll get right there and go out to where we are right now, 626%. Folks, this is the power of compounding and you get to see this a little bit all right and so you see that gain six and this is going to be off these are estimates obviously uh this is investco but i'm trying to give you the idea this is pro share so i get it before everybody hollers it's not the two, same exact i know i'm giving you a rough rough estimate but the fact remains leveraging even through all this even through this right here this drop and look how much this dropped what was it? 75, 75% of your money gone in under, under a year. But yet, yeah, even with that, if you dollar cost average all the way through this, you're still up 6,200%. Yeah, at one point, look at this thing. At one point, you're up, oh God, this is just scary to think about. 17,000%. Man alive, that's a lot of money. So that's the first one I wanted to show you. And then I wanted to show you uh, the triple leverage S&P. Now, this isn't going to move as much as we talked about, but this goes back to, let's see, November 7, 2008. All right, so we're going to go back to November 7, 2008, and that is 1,792%. That's a triple leverage. And like I said, there's no guarantees, but November 21st, 2008, and we go here to November, we got to go 2008, 2008, and we'll get there. And right right well we get this one close as we're gonna get and so as you get here you will see that you're up about 413 percent we come over to the triple leverage is it 400 percent 1700 percent so you had the s p 500 you had the the Qs. i gave you different time frames to, to 2008 2010 but my my point that show this is i want to show you all the data not just the charts and everything else but it is possible to become a multi-millionaire using ETF leverage. And hopefully, and we'll say a spot of good luck there, 
but having a strategy through it. And I got to warn you, and I wouldn't be doing my, and this is for entertainment purposes only, my friends. Make sure you understand that about this video because this is what could happen, all right? So as you get in here, and I can't get up to that key point, but the, the fact is, even in the S&P 500, uh, that is a 60% drop that quick. And of course, I think this one was even more. Look at this thing. 75% drop. This happened all within the last three years. Two different drops of 60 to 70%. Disgusting. All right. But that, look at this gain you got here. And I think it was like a little over a year. Wow. This is big. 627%. And like I said, going from, if we go all the way back here, all the way up to where it was, and that's from 2009, 2008, you're up like 7,000, 8,000%. Wow. So that's 70 something times your money. Just wild gains out there. But that is something I wanted to make sure everyone could see. The money is out there. The risks are real. I showed you. 65% down. 75% down. That happens. That's not like, hey, I'm going to dollar cost average into this, and I'm not going to see huge uh, drops. There are costs. There is decay. There are all kinds of risks that come to leverage ETFs. Options are risky. There are other things you can do. But I wanted to bring it to you today because I am always astounded when I see how much money could have been made if I would have dollar cost average back in 2008, 2010, when I did know all this stuff and I just didn't do that strategy of where I would be right now. It's just wild stuff. But I did want to pass that on to you. And you know, one of the biggest things, and this is, I, like, I always like people leaving with this. So my favorite thing to do is to end this whole show, let you see the money. And yeah, I know what studio I'm in too, for those that didn't notice. Take a look at the annual contribution, 10,700. Where are you getting that from though? Two of you. You and your spouse both make 50 something thousand dollars. You put in 10%. It comes to a $10,700 payment. That's the median roughly. 45 years, I don't care what age you are. 25, you do it till you're 70. And you're putting in that 10 grand a year. Calculate it. $4 billion. You're not reading this wrong. You come down here and you say, what? Here's the ending balance. You become a millionaire in 13 years. As you go down, you will say, whoa, when do I count 10 million? Well, in 22 years, you're worth 11 million. And when you'll have 100 million in 31 years, and by the time you hit 40 years, you will be a billionaire. 40 years, no matter what your age. If I change this to 40, it should say a billion, and it does $1.28 billion. And today's dollar, $394 million. So you could have a billion dollars in cash in 40 years if everything went right. And we didn't have that big collapse, but isn't that wild? So I, I know people out there always ask me, hey, what's the risk you take? I don't do a lot of options. I do like these uh, leverage plays. I was thinking about doing a leverage ETF dollar cost averaging with the family and the community here on YouTube. If that's something you're interested in, because I do have my leverage portfolio over at my Patreon, let me know down below. Maybe we can do a weekly challenge where I'm putting in weekly into a, a leverage ETF and we can see where it's going. Let me know. Let me know what you think. So this is how you could become a millionaire with leverage ETS. It's always an interesting. I know there's a lot of people on both sides of this one. And uh, but I wanted to show you the data. I wanted to show you the history, which I did. Uh, now, if you haven't done it, join me at the Patreon or join here on YouTube. Now we got that all running and you can uh, get access to the discord as well as the private portfolios and videos and get those free stocks from Moomoo down below. All you got to do is click the link, put a hundred bucks in there and you'll get five free stocks worth up to $10,000. And then of course the Weeble where you put a dollar or anything above that in or any deposit and you'll get up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.